Hey everyone welcome back to the channel. If you're new here and this is the place where we break down the biggest Apple leaks rumors and in-depth tech updates so you know exactly what's coming before anyone else. Now, Apple fans listen up. The MacBook Pro is about to go through its biggest transformation in years. We're talking about OLED displays that will finally replace Minibel Eid brand new M5 Pro and M5 Max chips built on TSMC's next-gen 3 nanometer node, Wi-Fi 7, Thunderbolt 5 potentially up to 128 gigabytes of unified memory and yes Bevan whispers about 5G connectivity but here's the twist Apple's roadmap isn't as simple as it sounds. The first M5 MacBook Pros are now expected to arrive in early 2026 but they'll still use mini LED. The OLED redesign on the other hand is shaping up for late 2026 and some analysts say it might not land until early 2027. So if you're wondering whether to buy now, wait for the M5, or hold out for the OLED redesign, you're in the right place that I end today's video. We'll go through all the latest leaks, insider reports, and supply chain updates. We'll look at the expected features, release timeline, pricing details, and ultimately, help you decide should you wait or should you buy. Stick around, because this is one breakdown you don't want to miss. OLED transition The big question Apple has been moving toward OLED displays across its lineup, and the MacBook Pro is no exception. The tricky part is timing. While earlier whispers suggested a late 2025 launch, most reliable sources now point to late 2026, with some analysts warning it could even slip into 2027. Samsung Display is widely expected to be the main panel supplier backed by heavy investments in next-gen OLED production. The M5 MacBook Pro timeline before we get OLED, we're likely to see an M5 MacBook Pro refresh. Current reports suggest the new M5 Pro and M5 Max chips will arrive in early 2026, most likely still using mini LED displays. That means if you're eyeing OLED, you may need to wait until the end of 2026 or longer. Key specs and features to expect M5 Pro and M5 Max chips built on TSMC's latest 3 nanometers tech. These chips should deliver a 15-25% performance boost, improved efficiency, stronger graphics, and enhanced AI or ML capabilities. Displays early 2026 models mini LED with promotion 120Hz and HDR. OLED versions, late 2026 or 2027, part of a larger design refresh. Connectivity Wi-Fi 7 is almost guaranteed, with faster speeds and lower latency. Thunderbolt 5 is also expected supporting bandwidths up to 120 gigabits per second for next-gen peripherals and high-resolution displays. Memory top-end models may ship with up to 128 gigabytes of unified memory, making them absolute powerhouses for creators and professionals. 5G MacBook? A code reference in macOS hinted at possible cellular MacBooks, though it's still speculative until Apple confirms. Battery and cooling OLED panels reduce power consumption, and with more efficient chips, we can expect longer battery life. Rumors also suggest thinner designs with improved cooling and durability. Design changes the OLED redesign could bring a thinner and lighter chassis while keeping performance intact. Apple may also move away from the current notch replacing it with either a punch hole or a dynamic island-style cutout delivering a more immersive display. Release window M5 MacBook Pro Mini LED early 2026 likely in the first half that OLED MacBook Pro late 2026 at the earliest possibly slipping into 2027. If delayed further, it may debut with or after the M6 generation. Pricing OLED models are expected to cost more due to higher panel production costs. In the US, entry pricing could start around $2,099, $2,299 for the 14-inch version while the mini LED M5 MacBook Pros may stick closer to today's pricing. Final thoughts, the next MacBook Pro is shaping up to be a huge step forward OLED displays for richer colors and true blacks, powerful M5 Pro and M5 Max chips, Wi-Fi 7 Thunderbolt 5 and maybe even 5G connectivity. But timing is key if you need a MacBook before. Spring 2026 go with the current lineup. If you can wait, the OLED redesign promises to be Apple's most advanced MacBook Pro YET.so there, you have it Apple's next generation MacBook Pro roadmap is clearer than ever. We're looking at a two-phase upgrade first. The M5 Pro and M5 Max refresh in early 2026 still using mini LED, and then the long-awaited OLED redesign toward the end of 2026 or possibly into 2027. 
the OLED MacBook Pro is set to be Apple's thinnest, most powerful, and most advanced laptop yet true black's richer colors, longer battery life, and more future-proof performance with Wi-Fi 7 Thunderbolt 5 and maybe even built-in 5G. But the million-dollar question remains. Do you wait for that massive upgrade? Or pick up an M5 model when it launches in 2026? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Will you hold out for the OLED MacBook Pro? Or is the M5 refresh enough for your needs? Drop a comment below and let's start a conversation. And if you found this breakdown useful, don't forget to smash that like button, share this video with your fellow Apple fans, and of course hit subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my deep dives into Apple's upcoming devices. Thanks so much for watching, stay tuned, stay updated, and I'll see you in the next one.